So when it comes to changing filter in your arc system, it's no different than reverse osmosis systems. These are all the same filters and you have to, for proper maintenance, make sure you change filters. Every filter is rated for a maximum amount of gallons that it can go through. This mini arc system is rated for 2,500 gallons before you change the filters. So every filter also has a different micron size. So when you're purchasing that new filter, make sure it's the right micron size that you came with. Simply grab your trusty filter wrench, undo it, loosen it by hand, lefty loosey, righty tighty, and take your old filter out, discard it properly, and put the new one in. Make sure you don't cross threads and simply tighten it up by hand until you get it tight. And you want to put about a quarter turn extra with the wrench. Now, not even a quarter turn. What you don't want to do is over tighten these. Second thing, we're going to change the multi-metal filter. Same thing, this is a different filter. And we want to make sure when we're putting a new one in, it's seated properly. You want to make sure that that gasket is seated properly in there and tighten it up. Very, very simple, but uh, water will slow down drastically if you go over the amount of gallons that you're allowed to go and it will not perform properly. The third filter in this situation is the pH neutralizer filter. This will raise your PPM ever so slightly, but simply changing it um, every 2,500 gallons, throw that in there like that. Once again, make sure that's seated properly. Righty tighty. Nice and snug. Plug your unit in, turn it on, make sure there's no leaks anywhere in the system. You're gonna to wanna to change that UV bulb inside the top of the arc system but once a year. This uh, filtration system is rated for about 2,500 gallons. So it is a mini system. It's not uh, the big animal. And uh, because it's only 2,500 gallons, it's perfect for hobby growers or smaller gardens. So it's a very simple, compact, complete unit. And uh, this is gonna guarantee that we're gonna have the cleanest water to run into our humidifiers or if we wanted to keep this one, reclaim that water. Water is such a valuable resource and uh, gardens can be a bit wasty. So if we can reclaim the water that the plants transpire through dehumidification, clean it up beautifully uh, through this unit and reuse it, it just basically is a closed loop, loop system, being more environmentally friendly and using technology and products that uh, make you a better gardener to guarantee that your plants are getting the freshest, cleanest water and that takes one potential problem out of your garden because a garden is only good as its weakest link. And uh, this is one link in the chain to make sure that your garden is as successful as possible. And that's why we're here ultimately. Happy gardening. Thanks for watching.